Now that we've learned about object hierarchies in JavaScript, what we're going to do is we're going to jump into one of the core JavaScript objects. And if we go up here in the language subsection here, what I want to cover in this video is are arrays. Arrays are one of the most important constructs, one of the most important objects in JavaScript and it's important that you understand them because uh, a lot of the stuff that we do within the document object here relies on arrays to make happen. From now on since uh, we're becoming quite nerdy and we're starting to understand these things a little bit better I'm not going to use words like thingy and, and uh, mechanism. I'm going to start using the proper terminology so for instance, when we're talking about an array, we're talking about the object array. We're talking about an object. So we're going to learn about the array object today very quickly. And uh, after that, I think we can actually jump into some, uh, some uh, form processing code in JavaScript. So anyway, in this video, arrays, and uh, we'll take it from there. Like so many other things in JavaScript, Arrays are something that is used in many different languages, including Java, C Sharp, ActionScript, PHP. So once you learn the concepts of an array in JavaScript, you're going to pretty much learn how they work in all these other languages. So once again, you will be killing many birds with one stone. So here we are back in uh, our uh, text editor, and I set up a JavaScript block here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to start off by creating an array. So it's uh, pretty simply done in JavaScript. So we go var and we'll say, I don't know, var products equals new array. Now let's go over this very quickly. I'll save that. So we've created a variable and we've assigned it an array. We said, we basically told JavaScript to make this variable here an array. And you see this new here, this is a keyword in JavaScript and the new keyword basically triggers JavaScript to create an array object for us. So let's talk about arrays. Arrays are objects that can hold many different pieces of information. If you recall when we talked about a variable is a variable is a container that holds one piece of information. Compare that to an array, an array can hold many pieces of information. Think about an array as being like a carton of eggs, where you got an egg carton rather, where you got many different slots for many different pieces of information. Now this information can be, can, can be text, this information can be numbers, it can even be objects. And because in JavaScript you can create your own objects, or you can store objects, you can create you can have an array with other arrays inside of it. So it's a pretty powerful tool and it's used all over the place in programming. So it's important that you understand it. 